Once he got a left outside grip, he was invincible. He used his power to become the sole leader with 11 straight wins. On day 12, he had a big match. A win would secure him promotion to Ozeki. His opponent was Hakuho, who was trailing him with one loss. Tochi Noshin had lost all of his 25 matches against Hakuho since they first met 10 years ago. Hakuho always broke Tochi Noshin's left outside grip immediately. For the Mongolian Yokozuna, Tochi Noshin was an easy opponent. And this time. He does get them down, left hand solid. Tochino Shin's got his grip. Is he too deep with the right hand? Tochino Shin needs to be a bit more shallow. That's it. Bring the right hand a little closer to the Maimitsu position. It's all about the timing now. Who pulls the throw? Who wins by Yorikiri? Which way does it go? Tochino Shin's in the driver's seat. Tochino Shin. Tochino Shin wins. The wrestlers grappled each other's belt, a style both are good at. Tochinoshin finally beat the Yokozuna, making his promotion certain. <laughs> but the following day, the championship race took an unexpected turn. Tochinoshin was defeated by up-and-coming Shodai. The Georgian wrestler was unable to get a left outside grip and could only push his opponent. After the day's bouts, Kakiru and Tochinoshin were co-leaders. With one loss, Hakuho was trailing with two losses. On day 14, Tochinoshin was up against Kakuru, who was gradually getting in shape. comes in low, tries to thrust away, but Tonchi Noshin, does he have the weapon that he has? Yes, he has the lethal weapon, the left hand outside, and Kaku Ryu has a double arm inside. Kaku Ryu digs in, Kaku Ryu drives, Kaku Ryu sends Tonchi Noshin to the deck, Kaku Ryu wins to go, 13 and 1. Tochi Noshin took a left outside grip, but Kakadu pushed his arms inside to keep the Georgian from fully using his power. On the final day, Soul Leader Kakadu defeated fellow Yokozuna Hakuho. Tournament at the Aichi Prefectural Gymnasium, right next to Nagoya Castle. Yokozuna Kakadu returns the Emperor's Cup after attaining his fifth championship in May. He's now gunning for a title in three consecutive tournaments. Another Yokozuna, Kisenosato, is sidelined from action from day one. Doctors say he's not allowed to do any intense training for at least four weeks to fully recuperate from his left upper arm injury. Fans have packed the venue despite the hot and sticky weather, some even in traditional attire. We begin opening day action with rookie Koto Eko going against Asanoyama. Koto Eko of a Kachikoshi or more wins than losses in May. Asanoyama slides inside, finds his favorite grip using that left hand outside grip to get him at the edge. Koto Eko, but remains, he tries a bellless arm throw at the edge and holds his ground. Dead center, now using that left hand outside to take him over the edge again, but now instead. Asanoyama at the edge, but wins by thrust down. Kotoeko doing all he can to stay in the ring, but no, looking for his first win after day two. Asanoyama proves he's the superior and grabs his first victory this Nagoya Basho or tournament. Asanoyama finds his favorite right hand inside, left hand, outside grip. He drives, but the rookie stays in contention by hitting a beltless arm throw at the edge. Kotoeko does dodge a bullet there, but is again in trouble right after. 
Asanoyama in turn hurls him with a beltless arm throw, breaks his balance, and Kotoeko sees the clay. Up next are Sadanomi and Onosho. It's a first time meeting between these agile fighters. Sadanomi uses speedy initial charge in May to snatch a Kachikoshi for the first time since July last year. Onosho is making his revival in the top division for the first time since March. Onosho goes in lower than Sadanomi and uses his speed to get the victory. Quick win for Onosho, the winner of the second highest Jiro division in May. Onosho dominating the bout here, shooting out head first, uses a forearm attack from the left. That gets Sadanomi facing sideways, and it's all over. Onosho wins by Oshidashi, frontal pushout. We now have Myogiryu going against Kyoktaise. The two are locking horns on opening day once again after their first meeting on Makunochi soil in May, where Myogiryu forced Kyoktaise out. Kyoktaise produced 10 wins in May as a newcomer to the Makunochi division. Myogiryu racked up his first double digit record in the top division last Basho for the first time since March 2016. Miyogiryu raises Kyoktaise's center of gravity. He continues and is right in front of Kyoktaise. It's all Miyogiryu from start to finish. Miyogiryu stays in command throughout the bout and moves to 1 0. Looking at the replay, Kyoktaise goes for a frontal grip, but Miyogiryu doesn't allow that. It's a pushing attack by Miyogiryu. It's all him getting both hands inside and winning by Oshidashi, frontal push out. It's Takarafuji versus Chiyotaidu. Takarafuji has a 7 5 advantage in their past meetings, but Chiyotaidu came out on top in their two recent bouts. Takarafuji will try to get a hold of Chiyotaidu's belt and find his preferred left hand inside, right hand outside grip. Chiyotaidu aims to push and thrust out at his foe from the initial charge. Chiyotaidu explodes into Takarafuji, pushing up, raising Takarafuji's center of gravity. Takarafuji is trying to get his preferred left hand inside, but is prevented. Chiyotaidu buries his head. He's attacking from the right. Good solution to not letting Takarafuji get his preferred grip, and it works. Chiyotaidu looking confident there, snatching his first victory in July and extending his winning streak over Takarafuji to three. A replay here. Chiyotaidu going into his foe, pushing up, finds his left hand inside, trying to pull him down. Now, Chiyotaidu buries his head and attacks from the right. A good way to prevent Takarafuji from getting his left hand inside. And that's all she wrote. Chiyotaidu wins by Oshidashi. Moving on to Endo, facing off with Yoshikaze. The rivalry is almost split down the middle, with Endo slightly leading 6-5 over the veteran. Endo injured his upper right arm in the last tournament and failed to produce results in his first basho, fighting at the fourth highest rank of Komusubi. Yoshikaze succeeded in making his way out of the tunnel last tourney on the final day. Both starting off low and slapping in is... Yoshikaze, but now he takes that arm and Endo finds that window of opportunity to drive them out. Endo! Endo using that window of opportunity well to start this July Basho in a positive note. 
Endo trying to go in lower than Yoshikaze, but Yoshikaze moving forward and thrusting. But now he takes that arm of his and goes for a Kotenage. That doesn't work. Endo wins by Yorikiri. We now have Daisho Maru versus Kagayaki. These warriors made their promotion to the top Makunoji division in 2016, and both are now competing in their highest personal ranks. Maegashira 5, Daisho Maru faced off with Kagayaki on day one, the last Basho, and defeated him for the first time on top division soil. Kagayaki holds the Maegashira 4 rank now. Kagayaki slides in that left hand inside is. His balance is broken a little, but he stays right in front of Daisho Maru, who circles away. And Kagayaki wins by Oshitaoshi, frontal pushdown. Kagayaki gets vengeance for their last time meeting and advances to 1 0. Kagayaki digs in that left hand inside right after the tachiai or initial charge. Daisho Maru escapes to the right to recover, but Kagayaki finds his right hand inside this time and then he takes care of his foe as he circles to the left. Kagayaki wins by Ushitaoshi frontal pushdown. We now have Kaise going against Takakesho. This is actually their first time going head to head after Kaise won by default in their matchup in March when Takakesho was sidelined from action. Kaise from Brazil suffered his first losing record since May last year. Takakesho racked up eight consecutive victories in the second half of action last tournament to end up with a double digit record. Takakesho blasts in low and raises his foe up, but Kaise doesn't go back. It's all Kaisei using sheer power to get the victory. Immovable Kaisei drives forward in high gear to go 1 0. Looking at the replay, Takakesho has the better of the initial charge. He starts low and tries to raise the center of gravity of Kaisei. But Kaise doesn't move back an inch. Kaise bulldozes him back with power and out. It's Abi facing off with Mitakeumi. These explosive pushers are meeting for the second time. Mitakeumi beat his foe with an Oshitaoshi frontal pushdown in May. Abi failed to punch out more wins than losses last Basho, but achieved his first Kimboshi gold star after defeating Yokozuna Hakuho. Mitakeyomi is back holding the third highest rank of Sekiwake for the first time since March. Abi goes with both guns blazing, but that doesn't work against Mitakeyomi. Mitakeyomi's fans are cheering for him on day one. As the Sekiwake shows who's in charge by pushing his way to his first victory in July. A double hand attack by Abi. He see a lot coming from Abi. But Abi is just a little bit too high. Mitakeumi takes in the strikes and counters from a much lower angle. Abi backpedals, pulls, and out he goes. It's power versus speed here between Ichinojo and Chionokuni with a weight difference of 80 kilos. Behemoth Mongolian Ichinojo has a 3 2 advantage in the rivalry. Chionokuni will try to keep a distance from his opponent and break his balance using his agility. Ichinojo bulldozed out Chionokuni in their last matchup on day one of the November tournament last year. Chionokuni snuggles in head first, raises the giant, and Ichinojo is out. Ichinojo doesn't try to recover, and he's out in an instant. It looks like he walked out. Chionokuni finds win number one, starting to prove to be a force to be reckoned with after gaining confidence with his 12-win record in May. 
Chiyonokuni has the better of the Tachiai. Raises Ichinojo's center of gravity. A quick slap down, and that breaks Ichinojo's balance. Ichinojo throws in the towel quite quickly and strolls out. It's the highlight bout of the day. Ikioi versus New Ozeki Tochinoshin. The Georgian has a 7-4 edge in the rivalry, taking four of their last five meetings, all with a Yorikiri frontal force out. Tochinoshin is the first ever Ozeki from Georgia. He took a total of 60 bashos after his Makunochi debut to earn his promotion, becoming the slowest all time to do so. Tochinoshin steps in and gets his favorite grip immediately, and that's all she wrote. Ikioi unable to prevent Tochinoshin from grabbing his signature left hand outside grip. Tochinoshin attains his first win as an Ozeki and paves the way for becoming the first man in more than 12 years to claim a championship in his Ozeki debut tournament since Hakuho in May 2006. Here's a replay. Tochinoshin slides in, quickly grabs his preferred stance. The Georgian maintains a solid left hand outside grip, prevents Ikioi from any hurling maneuvers at the edge, and now escorts him out with authority like an Ozeki. From a different angle, Tochinoshin slides that right hand inside, taking the driver's seat, and just moves forward for the victory. Tochinoshin wins by Yorikiri. How did you feel going into the first tournament as an Ozeki? I just tried to make sure I step inside. My opponent first and do my brand of sumo. I think I did well. Ozeki, was there a moment when you actually felt that you were an Ozeki? Well, I was able to return to Georgia after the last tournament. And I was really busy, but that's my job, so I dealt with it. <laughs> so it's your job, huh? Yes, I gotta do my best. Next, we have Koto Shogiku going against Ozeki Takayasu. Takayasu leads their meetings by a slight margin of 13 to 11, but he's dominated all of the past 10. Takayasu is in Kadoban status this tournament, meaning he needs at least eight wins for a Kachikoshi record to retain his rank of Ozeki. The last time Kotoshogiku defeated Takayasu was on opening day of the March Basho in 2016. Kotoshogiku gets that right hand inside. Takayasu is quite high, but he maintains his stance with that left hand outside grip. Dodging the bullet there, now he gets that right hand outside grip, both dead center. Kotoshogi trying to get a beltless arm throw moving, but now at the edge, Takayasu puts down Kotoshogi. Quite a scare there for the Ozeki on opening day. Takayasu sends his fans up on their feet, but prevails with his first win since March. He took the entire May Basho off due to a left upper arm injury. Kotoshogiku charges with his right hand inside. Takayasu holds his ground by keeping a left hand outside grip right now. Takayasu tries to pummel him down while circling around, but is taken to the edge right after this. Now Takayasu once again grabs a left hand outside and breaks his opponent's balance with a throw before thrusting him down by a tsukiyotoshi maneuver. And we now have the third Ozeki up on the dohyo, or ring, going against Shodai for the tenth time. The Ozeki has a 6-3 advantage in the rivalry. Shodai is competing at the highest Maegashira rank after marking his critical eighth victory for a Kachikoshi in May on day 13 against Tochinoshin. Goedo is also in Kadoban status, just like Takayasu. Goedo snuggles inside, gets his left hand inside, right hand outside. But Shodai is high, but gets both hands inside. 
He looks like he's controlling the match and gets the victory. It's an upset on opening day. Goedo bites the dust. Shodai puts dirt on the Ozeki to move to 1-0. Goedo will need to switch gears from day two to grab eight victories this tournament to protect his Ozeki rank. Once again, Goedo dives in, gets his left hand inside, right hand outside. But Shodai digs his right hand inside to find a double hand inside grip. The Ozeki swings his foe with the right but loses balance once that outside grip is broken. Shodai sees his back and sends him over the straw bales from another angle. Goedo has the better of the initial charge, but Shodai stays in control by getting that right hand inside grip, switching from the outside to the inside. Now it's all Shodai in the driver's seat, winning by Okuridashi rear pushout. It's now Tamawashi challenging Yokozuna Hakuho. These 33-year-old Mongolians went head-to-head -head on day one in the May tourney as well. The Yokozuna is spotless in their past 11 matchups. He's looking to clinch his 41st championship. Tamawashi finished up last Basho on a five-bout winning streak to earn a kachikoshi on the final day. A left hand slap, and Katsuko fails to get a frontal grip. Now it's Tamawashi digging both hands inside, 